Chip, you also mentioned while you were talking to James last year in his broadcast that people have three relationships with their job. So either, either it's a job, career, or a calling. Can you elaborate more and why it's important to distinguish those three? So I like to think of it in, a, in the shape of a pyramid. Um, so work can, it, the, most people at the base of this pyramid have a job. Um, and when you have a job, you tend to be focused on the compensation package and the money and the scope of work. And it's, but it's sort of basic. You go do your job and then you go home. A step above that in, in a smaller part of the pyramid is the career. And when you're focused on your career, you're focused on your career path and recognition. And so you're very, you tend to be focused a little bit more on the idea is of how do I get recognized and appreciated for the work I do um, and what's the path for me to grow um, personally. And then at the top of the pyramid is the idea of calling. And calling comes from the idea that you get inspired by the meaning of what you do. It's back to the idea of purpose. So um, a great company figures out how to take their employees up that pyramid. Because generally speaking, a job is a commodity. Yeah. If, if, if someone comes along and says, we're going to pay you 10% more and you only have a job, most people will say, sure, I'm leaving. But yeah. actually, interestingly enough, the number one reason people leave their job in the US and Canada is not because of their boss. It's not because of money. It's because of their boss, yeah. which is why that middle of the pyramid is important. When a person feels recognized, they're more loyal. And yeah. so... Uh, you know, that's the middle of the pyramid. So a great company helps uh, recognize their employees. And then at the top of the pyramid is the idea of calling, is the idea of, you know, someone feeling the sense of purpose and meaning, not just in what the company's doing, but in what they do every day. And so a great company gives a sense of meaning, uh, both in work and at work. At work means the overall company purpose. In work means the impact you have on that purpose. Okay. Thank you for uh, identifying and making it clear because I feel that that's very important because sometimes people say, I just need a job because they need to pay the rent, they need to have some uh, bills to pay. But I feel that once we grow and we go up in the ladder, there's more calling, there's career-wise. So I feel that that's very important to people to identify where, which stage they are in their career. And is it also comes, is it a must for each uh, company to identify or depends on the size of the company, the strategy they're going. I think it's important that a company have a clear, concise purpose and that people can actually rally around. So for example, at Airbnb, it's belong anywhere. How do we help our guests and hosts have a sense of belonging anywhere? And by doing that, uh, our, our employees feel a sense of purpose um, because of that. And so I think, you know, if you can get it down to say four, four, four words or less, um, for Nike, it's just do it. How do you help get people off the couch and going out and being active in their exercise? So, uh, you know, a, a frankly, a, a purpose should have a sense of action attached to it. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And again, Chip, thank you for those clarification. I feel that my audience will benefit from that. And uh, if you like, please like and share this video, subscribe to the channel and tune in tomorrow for another question with Chip.